Okay, so what are you going to make for us today? I'm going to make our version of dakboki from Sujo. And being a Korean-American adoptee, you know, like I've, I've often heard about dakboki, but never really made it myself until we opened Sujo. And I knew that I wanted to have one. And being a college town in Madison, like dakboki is known in Korea as like a college student's uh, food, kind of like ramen here, you know. But I wanted to do a version for someone from Wisconsin being raised here. Uh, so I added cheese to mine. So what we do with ours is we start with the hot wok. Okay. So our wok is super hot. So we use uh, a coconut oil here. And you can see like the wok is hot like right away. Okay. And then I start with onion. And then we got underground meats. Nice, okay. I'm really close with a lot of the underground guys, Johnny Hunter and, and his crew. So they made us this lop chong sausage, it's actually like a Chinese sausage. I want some of that. Okay. Really awesome. And then I can throw in my loves. Just a handful. Just a handful. Mm. Oh my god, that was scary. How do you have your eyebrows? <laughs> there's no hair, there's no hair <laughs> on my arms, I can tell you that. So then what we do is we make an anchovy stock. Every Korean person will tell you you have to make anchovy stock. Okay. So like that's water, anchovies, firm bracken, things like that. It's a little bit funky, but not too much. And then this is gochujang, mm -hmm. which is Korean condiment, very spicy, hot red pepper paste. And Koreans on the street in Korea will add like the Korean corn syrup, which is like really sweet. Okay. So we add some of that. And we start to cook. And being that it's the wok, it's really cool because it goes very fast. But you still have to kind of stir. So like all this is going to cook down and that gochujang paste is going to thicken. The rice starch is going to thicken the sauce. Because Koreans like our sweet. I'm actually going to add a little bit more sugar. And then we make our own kimchi. And I only add this because I really like enjoy the, uh, the texture of a cooked kimchi. So I'm going to put some of that in. Oh my God. We do a crushed, crushed egg. So we, we basically, we bring it over and we just hand crush it. And put it right in. And then for the, the super Wisconsin part, we have amazing award-winning cheeses, cheese makers here. And this is a blend of two of the best. And it's Willie Laner from Blue Mont Dairy. And they make a bandage cheddar and then Pleasant Ridge Reserve from Upland's Dairy. So I just fold that in, and then we also put some on top. But you can see already it's nice and thick and rich. And basically, like I want to insert my spoon there just to see that it's soft and a it little gooey. It takes very long. It at takes all. no time. Okay. So then I bring my my wok and I just pour it right out. And then we finish with a little bit more. <laughs> just a little bit. You can't have too much cheese in not, No, not here. And then we just do very simple green onion and black and white sesame seeds. And that's how we make it. Wow. Dakwoki with cheese, really good. Yeah, chewy, mm. sweet, cheesy. I love this. Thank this you. is awesome. This is my favorite thing ever. Thank I'm really happy you came. <laughs> Thank you, know, you I've been so wanting much. to do a cooking segment with you for a while. So <gasps> really? You can come back anytime, you know.